Greetings. Have you ever wondered what it would be like if high school wasn't just about textbooks and pop quizzes, but a mind-bending battle of wits and strategy? Well, get ready to enroll in an anime experience that will challenge everything you thought you knew about education. Welcome to a world where the classroom of the elite isn't just a place to learn. It's a playground for the brilliant and the cunning. Put on your thinking caps, because we're about to dive into an anime that blurs the lines between school and society, where every move counts and every secret could be a game changer. Get ready for an intellectual roller coaster as we explore the mysterious world of Classroom of the Elite. Classroom of the Elite is an anime series released by Lurta Studios in the summer of 2017. The script is based on the novelization by Shugo Kinugasa, and the series consists of 12 episodes. It was directed by the experienced Seiji Kish. Advanced Nurturing High School is a leading prestigious school with state-of-the-art facilities, whose graduates find successful jobs or get into top universities almost 100% of the time. It is a paradise where students can spend their earned points on all kinds of amenities. All students are divided into four classes, A, B, C, D. Class A is considered the elite, and Class D includes losers who are laughed at by the entire school. The main character of Kiyotaka Ayanakuji is a melancholy guy who accidentally passed his exams badly and got into the D class. And now he has to make a choice. To lead his unfortunate classmates to the top and take the place of the elite class A, or to continue to live a quiet, inconspicuous life as he always wanted to. The story is set in Japan in the 21st century. This anime tries to show all the difficulties that can be faced in life. From a simple misunderstanding of the system, to the ability to get out of a dead-end situation on your own. Although the anime also touches on the standard themes of the importance of friendship and camaraderie. As already mentioned, the plot takes place in an elite high school, which is extremely difficult to get into. But the main character, Kiyotaki Ayanokoji, manages it. By the looks of it is a simple guy who does not stand out except for the closed. There, he will have to get acquainted with his classmates and together begin a difficult training. As the story progresses, we will become more familiar with the characters, who will reveal all the hidden traits of their personalities. Even our seemingly inconspicuous hero turns out to be not so simple. A group of boys from Class D decide to take the first place in the school and prove to everyone that their class is not worse than others. The plot is not bad. There are some interesting moments, but mostly they are connected with the actions of the characters in this or that situation. It is interesting to watch how the characters try to solve problems and get out of difficult situations. The events are pretty standard for a typical school day, except for the last arc with the island. The characters are very colorful. Each of them has unique characteristics. All of them are quite good at their jobs. Each of them has a double bottom. There is a public personality and an inner one. Kikyo Kushida is a good example, but many have yet to be revealed. As they interact with the GG and each other, they gradually change and acquire new character traits. The main character has yet to be fully revealed, but he is quite interesting in himself. Or, for example, the main character, Suzun Horikita, a girl with dark hair who is cold towards everything, but is supposed to be very soft and vulnerable at heart, but no one understands that and she just wants to prove to her brother how cool she is. Suzun also goes around in circles with a haughty look for a whole season without getting any development, but at least her revelation in the anime was more or less clear to me. But the presence of another main character in the title is not clear to me at all. Kikyu Kushida is the main haughty of the class who, oh my god, is actually the ultimate bitch who tries to hide it. And once you're shown that, everything goes back to normal. Nothing changes. Nothing changes. The screenwriter's attempt to make the character a double bottom failed. The character was primitive and remained so. The beginning is, at first glance, rather banal. A first-person perspective. The protagonist enters the school and meets an unusual classmate. Such a plot can be found in almost every anime about school. But there is a nuance. In Welcome to the Class of Excellence, there is very little romance and it is present in the anime only because it is an integral part of high school students' lives and a condition for their maturation. Moreover, there is no romance with the first classmate, who turns out to be not so unusual. There are plenty of good female characters who show interest in the protagonist, but the anime doesn't really feel like a harem. 
Kiyotaka joined Kodo Ikuse to get a taste of the normal life of a high school student. It's his forbidden fruit of knowledge. He has a partnership with Horikita. He has friends. Aya no Koji's company, opponents. Ryuin, Hosen, Nagumo, even a girlfriend. And he enjoys spending time with his buddies, going on dates and getting ahead in the class. Only he clearly realizes that it's all temporary. If at the beginning of the story we have a closed, cold-blooded character who for the first time feels what human warmth and relationships are, then it is logical to assume that sooner or later his shell must crack. He recognizes the presence of feelings for other people and changes in himself, but this does not change his worldview as a whole. He makes no plans for a future after school with his girlfriend, as any normal high school student would, and simply breaks up with his girlfriend for good. On the one hand, this is an atypical twist for high school stories. Love is betrayed and the hero of the class becomes its enemy. On the other hand, the author cheats the expectations of the audience. However, the series has already released quite a few episodes, and Kiyotaka is still not fully revealed. Will this block of ice unfreeze, or will this avalanche cover the rest of the characters? Hopefully the author will surprise us and the story will be released before the audience loses interest. And there you have it, fellow screen learners. From hidden agendas to calculated alliances, Classroom of the Elite takes us on a thrilling ride through the intricacies of human psychology and manipulation. As we say goodbye to this captivating anime, remember that in Classroom of the Elite, the final bell may ring, but the lessons never really end. So whether you're a strategic mastermind or just someone looking for an anime to keep you guessing, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay tuned for more explorations into the fascinating worlds anime has to offer. Until next time, keep your mind sharp and your plans sharper.